something is outside of the tent. So Savannah went to check on it. I think it was just some deer. That's a boar. Yeah, that is a boar. Close that, <laughs> that little nylon cover, which won't do anything. That's weird. I didn't see any signs. I didn't see any signs for the, of the boars. But it sounds like just one. So I should be able to scare it off with some music or something if it gets too close. No boar encounter last night. The boar kind of circled, made a wide circle. Uh, I was flashing my light, made a little noise, and it scurried off, so no big deal. Um, today, we're headed to an Airbnb up ahead. It's going to rain pretty heavily all day tomorrow, tonight and tomorrow. And up ahead, there's a cheap Airbnb. Beyond it, they're a little more expensive, so I figured post up. Well, I have the, the cheap option and get out of the rain. So headed to that, headed to that Airbnb now. Uh, it should be about five hours walking. Not too bad, uh, not too short. So good day walking. Savannah will get her exercise and then uh, relax tomorrow. Beautiful walking right now. Uh, we just got onto this smaller road, so it's nice and peaceful. There's no cars. Listening to the birds. Um, just found a water fountain, so I was able to douse my hat in water and soak Savannah. So she's got her, she's got her vest on. Got that soaked, so she's staying nice and cool clouds overhead so good walking we just got a couple hours to get to this Airbnb so pretty easy day Sab and I made it to the Airbnb a little bit ago and we're in this tiny little village it was the cheapest airbnb i could find and it's because it's 40 minutes from the next town which has uh, a cafe and supermarket and stuff like that but this village is just a couple houses there's nothing here uh so it's nice and peaceful uh, but i gotta get into town and load up on supplies for tomorrow when it's gonna be raining so i can have some food and not trudge to town in the rain so that's what we're doing now, walking to town after walking 30 kilometers already.